I don't think I ever intended to study physics or cosmology, but I always had an interest in the early universe and really understanding in the most fundamental sense how our universe evolved, how we produced all of the stars, the galaxies, planets, all of the structure that we see today. I work on the boundary between theory and observation. And ultimately, I want to know how can we extract the maximum amount of information from these cosmological data sets? Over my MITAX funded project, we developed a technique that uses baryon acoustic oscillations to probe the geometry of our universe just one billion years after the Big Bang. These baryon acoustic oscillations are a cleanly preserved fossil record of our early universe. But I wanted to know, once you have this clean view into the early epochs, what can you learn? And together, we showed that this special combination allows you to measure these baryon acoustic oscillations from the first billion years. And we can also detect whether there are any anomalies and whether our universe is behaving in a way that we didn't really know. When I first started working on my MITAX project, I had never worked on any research related to gravitational lensing of the cosmic microwave background. It is really technically and mathematically challenging, so I was a little bit intimidated to try and get into this area. What I thought would just be me working with the physics department at NYU has now connected me to institutions across North America, and for that I'm extremely grateful. And now I intend to continue working in this field. As a theorist, it's sometimes hard to feel like your work is exciting to others. So winning the MITAX award for our Outstanding Innovation International was a huge surprise. I have to give a huge thank you to Professor Anthony Pullen at NYU, to Dr. Abhishek Maniar, and to my advisor, Professor Adrian Liu at McGill. This project would not have come to fruition without his input. And so I really hope to see Canada remain at the forefront of this science because I think in the coming decades, we're gonna see some really incredible results and learn new facts about our universe that we never expected.